Hey guys, this is Ginger here from Clism Gaming, along with uh, Sniper Slayer ninety five from Clism Gaming and the Bearded One. I should have introduced once the again. One. You announced the first game. because he's my fucking co-host. Well, uh, I'm not that important, Nick, but thank you. I know, but you're in Clism with me, so. So Back basically, in, in this episode, we're going to talk about our Halo experiences in every single one of the Halo games and Halo Four. Yeah. yeah, bitches, here we go. Okay, Halo One. I'm fucking sure. sucked. I'm just kidding. You're I will murder you with a pipe. I'm just kidding. It was good. Seriously, Kyle will show up to your house with a lead pipe and be like, "So, bitch," and then your head's bashed in. He wouldn't even smack me. He'd just come in, sit down, and eat my food. And then bash your face in on the way out. He'd be like, yo, what up? <laughs> Boo! That's Sam Fisher, you. Let's play Nazi zombies together. <laughs> yeah, you know, interesting fact? Sam Fisher's in Halo. He's okay, Master not. Chief. What were he we talking mash- about? Talking about Halo, Nick. Except he's actually not even. I know. I'm just throwing out a conspiracy there, but, uh, you know. Man, I can't even remember what the topic was. My first experience with Halo was, I, I think it was Halo 2 or Halo 1, but I go over to my friend's house, they're playing a game, I'm like, you know what, can, can I join in? So I join in. They all decide to team up on me and start killing me. So it's like, in my mind, I'm devising strategies to beat them. First couple of games, I get my butt kicked like endlessly, and I'm like, but I'm still like, I love this game. Last couple of games, they're all coming up against me. I've got strategies. I'm like, <clears throat> start killing. I grab the sniper. That's when I discover I'm sniper slayer. Headshots, 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 headshots. They eventually turned it off and uh, stormed out of the room because I was destroying them with the sniper rifle. Look how my brother takes the rocket launcher and he's like, look, I can play COD. <laughs> Except it's not COD, COD it's Halo. I hate Call of Duty. Let's never speak of that again. Speaking Move. of Call of Duty, we're going to have an episode tomorrow where it's um, Call of Duty versus Battlefield. So Shameless self-promotion. Yeah, I'm going to have to... You're going to have to let me know about that because I have so much stuff about Battlefield. Anyways, back to Halo. Halo 1, one of the greatest games ever made, period. Besides Ocarina of Time. And it, well, true. And if anyone tells you otherwise, they are lying right to your face. It's no not a fucking I... Halo game. Your stupid ass face because you sit on the internet all day watching podcasts about people talking about video games. What's wrong with you? Wait, but we need the views. Well, we don't need them. We want them. We're just here because. We're just here because we got nothing better to do. Anyway, Halo One's good game. Now, what about Halo Two? Uh, to be honest, Halo 2 had the worst graphics out of every single one of them. But, in really? the, I mean... <clears throat> to be honest, to be honest, though, like, the graphics were horrible. They were grainy as shit. I like yeah. Halo 1's graphics better because it's like, look, everything's rock hard as stone. Halo uh-huh. 2 was just like, hey, we're just going to half-ass the graphics because it's like, hey, yeah, fuck you. And, but, you know... And I thought the Halo thing 2 looked that. pretty good. It was all right. Well, it was at a, in its time, it looked pretty good. It was decent. Uh, first time I played Halo 2, I'm like, there's an extreme difference. And uh, and when I went back to Halo 1 to play a story, because I, I think it was Halo 1 that I played the multiplayer on, and I played the story, I'm like, wow, there's an extreme difference between Halo 2 and Halo 1. Mm-hmm. And I, I believe when I got Halo 1 was after I actually got Halo 3, and I was like, and I hadn't played Halo 3 yet, but I played Halo 1, and then I remember I, I had already beaten Halo 2, so I went to Halo 3, and it was it was amazing. Like, I, I understood everything because I did it in order. Yeah, I actually first started Xbox gaming with Halo 1 because my dad brought home the Xbox, and I never knew what an Xbox was until he brought it home. So it was he, a box with a giant X on it. Basically... And then no one knew the Xbox 360 was going to come out because they're like, what are they going to call the Xbox 2? Because you know mm-hmm. that's lame. Yeah, that's lame. But, uh, like, he brought it home, and it was honestly the best shit ever because the first yeah. two games I played on there was Halo 1 and Blood Wake. Blood Wake was, like, a retarded boat game, but it was really cool, and it's time. 
And then <laughs> uh, Halo 1, I first played it, and then me and my dad would stay up till like, 1 in the morning and play co-op together, and that's when he was actually good at multiplayer games, but now he's too tired and works a lot, so I can't yeah. really do much with that. I know that feel, bro. <laughs> I feel you, brother. But, you know, when I played Halo 2, I was like, okay, you know, graphics are different, whatever, and I'm loaded up, and when I get to the thing, and it's the armor thing, I'm like, so you get new armor after you just saved all of humanity, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. Johnson gets a medal. I was like, I'm about to throw my controller to the thing, and it drops me into Fight the Covenant. I'm like, never mind. I'm okay, how does Johnson skill. get a medal if, what, he got a medal for getting off Halo 1 successfully? He, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Achievement, get, get off Halo. How the hell did you get off Halo? I fucking jumped. <laughs> His actual words were, um, this guy asked him, I still remember this because I played through Halo 2 again recently, and he's like, that's Quest 5. Yeah. Thanks. Wouldn't that impressive? be great if, like, you beat Halo 1 on Legendary, and then you just get this little extra cutscene at the end of the credits where it's like, just as the Halo is about to explode, you see John C's like, oh, hell no, and then he super jumps off the damn thing. <laughs> My friends call me coach. <laughs> or even better, puts his fingers up to his temple, warps away. <laughs> <laughs> But, um... What was this reference? I did one. Graphics-wise, I think Halo 1 had the best graphics because... Only because it was a classic game. Yeah. With story, I think the best story was Halo 3. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to, I have to agree with you there. Halo 3 is one of my favorite games of all time. Halo 3 was I amazing. Actually, I think Halo 3, I really want to research this now. I think Halo 3 sold the most copies of all of the Halos. I wouldn't be surprised. I, I think I do remember hearing that, too. Halo 3. Halo but, 3 multiplayer is the funnest thing you could possibly play with your friends. Help me research this. That and Forge, and Forge, when I first played, I'm like, I suck, I suck. And then I met Nick in a... Uh, and his brother in matchmaking, and then me and, yeah. and I started playing Forge with his brother, and we started making these awesome things, like McDonald's and stuff, and we wouldn't mess around in them. And then one day we decided to build a house, and things got weird. You know what the funniest <laughs> part is? We had sex in that house. In Halo 3, there wasn't even an actual Forge level until the map pack for Foundry and Standoff. Uh -huh. Yeah, all the other shit came out, and then everyone's just like, okay, hey, getting Foundry now. Foundry was the main reason why they put Forge into the game. Yeah. But then they couldn't put it in the game as they were developing it, so a couple months later, they made a free DLC. It says, on the day before its official release, 4.2 million units of Halo 3 were in retail outlets. Halo 3 grossed uh, $300 million U.S. in its first week. One more wow. than Halo 1. Uh, one, more than uh, 1 million people played Halo 3 on Xbox Live in the first 20 hours. I'm going to be honest. When I got Halo 3 and I played it... Could I you imagine the lag on that shit? <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even play it. I didn't play the... Halo 3 era. has now in excess of 8.1 million copies sold and is the best-selling video game of 2007 in the United States. Doesn't surprise Take that, me. Call of Duty. Take that. Honestly, what else? Well, Modern Warfare 1 came out in 2007. That's the yeah. only game. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Halo okay. 3. Okay. Halo 3 was released, right? At mm -hmm. which time was, like, during the release of Halo 3, which Call of Duty was released? That was uh, Modern, Modern Warfare 1. 1. 1 or 2? No, it was Cod 1. 4. It was Cod Call of 4? Yeah. Which, honestly... That's the one Call of Duty I don't hate besides Black Ops and World of War. Okay, so but, in total, Halo 3 was 8.1 million, right? Yeah. Yes. Now. Now. Uh, Call of Duty was... Who knows? Who cares? We'll get to it tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Over 13 million by May 2009. <laughs> 
Ooh. Anyway. Right. Um, let's, let's talk about uh, Halo Wars, the mistake that that was. We don't even have to mention it. <laughs> Everybody knows, moving on. <laughs> BFP. Halo Wars was shit. First about time I played it, I was like, all right, I can I can see this. Second time I played it, I'm like, no, no, bye. Honestly, I remember the first time I played Halo Wars, I downloaded a demo with my friend Kevin, and we tried to play through it, and we got through, like, half of the one mission, and then we're like, nope, we can't take this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. And, and then, At least I gave it a chance. Yeah, that's, that's what I have to say. And then... Uh, ODST, which... Whoa, what the hell? I'm reading the article for uh, Halo Combat Evolved, and it said Microsoft's release versions of the game uh, of Halo, right, for Microsoft Windows ported by Gearbox Software. That's the yep. same people that made Borderlands. Yep, you didn't know that? And Mac right. OS X in 2003. I didn't I even did know not that. Know that. I, I never knew that, actually. Yeah, see, Gearbox ported it to the PC... And you guys know Red vs. Blue and Roost Teeth and all that crap. Yeah. Uh-huh. They, you know how the first three uh, seasons of Red vs. Blue are in Halo 1? Yeah. Well, when they remastered um, the original five seasons of the Blood Gulch Chronicles, they uh-huh. refilmed everything in HD, and what they did was they used the PC version to refilm all the Halo 1 crap. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because it had, like... It had, like, a better um, camera system. It actually yeah. had a theater mode. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I did not know that. So that's where theater mode came from. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and Call of Duty took it. Something that people went nuts over because they'd never seen it before in 2003 was already in Halo four years earlier. What? Wow. They're like, oh, my God, look. We can record our gameplay. Even though Fraps did this earlier. But who cares about Fraps? Moving on. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we're gonna wrap this up because this episode is probably long as fuck. Hang on, I'm gonna check actually. Wait, what are you checking? We're we're only at 13 minutes right now. Why did you check? Because I did you didn't keep want... track? Yes. He's got a stopwatch. Get him. <laughs> well, at least he's got a stopwatch. Yeah. At least see, I'm in track. I will. I will be uh, another random moment of honesty with the bearded one. Um, I never played Halo Two. Huh. Like ever? Um, I remember the only time I ever played Halo Two in my life was at George's house one night in the summer. Me and his brother played a sword match on Blood Gulch. That's the only time I've ever played Halo Two in my life. Oh, I remember the sword matches. I would always get so mad at those because I would have them at my friend's house and it would be me on him and then his stepdad would join in and just whoop everybody's butt and he <laughs> get out! Out! But best memory of Halo, honestly, is not Halo 1, but it's Halo Reach because I loved that story and I loved that you could customize your guy to look how you wanted to and it would be Yeah, they really... As as more and more of the games are released, there is more and more of the do-it-yourself customization instead of this, like, here is your character, just go with the flow. Yeah. Which I, w- I wish they would let you do that with Master Chief, because that would be awesome, but then again, I understand, you start it off like this, keep it like that, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it, be the yeah. level Master Chief looks. But for Halo 4... I am, I, I have college coming up and I can't get it because I I, I want to pre-order it so bad but I can't because college and books are expensive. Well, it's not going anywhere. No, but I also heard that with the uh, Spartan Ops, which is the storyline, um, which if you guys seen the um the uh, trailer and when yep. the giant ship. Crashes down. That is mm-hmm. the Infinity, mm-hmm. which is where all of the multiplayer takes place in, and you know, red versus blue combat training, all that stuff. No elites. I'm just gonna say that, but I heard somewhere that if you don't get it immediately with the um the Spartan Ops Weekly, the episodes and stuff that you that you tell the story, you have to buy them, which I highly doubt. But I heard that, and 
if that's true, then 343 is going to lose a lot of customers mm. for that. Well, I mean, they're taking a giant responsibility from Bungie, so hopefully they don't fuck shit up. Uh, uh, it looks pretty solid so far, so I have faith in these guys. Because, yeah. Um, 343, actually, I don't know if you guys knew about this, but 343 is actually made up of mostly former Bungie employees. Yeah, I knew that. And huge Halo fans. And then, really, I've seen what the gameplay is going to look like. I've read all about the um, multiplayer. What I'm concerned about is what they're doing with Forge, because I know they have it. I want to know what they're doing with it. Um, Actually, just this last week, um, do you guys know about RTX? No. no. RTX is basically um, Rooster Teeth convention that they have. Um, every year, they started like a year or two ago, where mm-hmm. they have all the fans come down to Austin for like a big convention, and they had the guys from 343 come to RTX this year to talk about Halo 4, and they mentioned something about Forge. Ah. Apparently, it's getting a huge upgrade. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, I do believe that there's an interesting story behind the Rooster Teeth name, even though this isn't on a topic, but I found this hilarious. What was that again? Okay, uh, I'm going to explain how Rooster Teeth got its name. Okay, so back when Rooster Teeth first formed, um, it was Bernie Burns and Gus Sarola and Jeff Ramsey, you know, the big three guys that made Rooster Teeth. Back when they started Red vs. Blue, they were being dicks to each other, because that's what friends do. They just dick around with each other. Yeah. And um, back when they started doing Red vs. Blue, they would call each other cockbites, because, you know, they're being friends, they're being dicks. They're fooling around. Basically, the name Rooster Teeth is a cleaned up version, like a censored version of Cockbite. <laughs> because the rooster is the cock and, you know, teeth is the bite. So they yeah. turned Cockbite, which was like a friendly <laughs> insult, into the name of their company. Seems legit. That's yeah, seems so professional. Yeah. That's Honestly, really professional. I saw the teeth and I thought, first time I saw the teeth, I thought it said it had... He had something to do with the Joker and the Rooster. I don't know what. And now you know. And now you know, and it's so much worth. Rainbow. Killing is half the battle. And the more you know, Rainbow. Yeah. Uh, but Halo 4 is. I may have to pass up Resident Evil 6 for that, and that's going to be a tough I'll one. Pass up well, I heard Resident Evil 6, so like. A lot of people don't like it. Uh, well, I'm I'm a fan. It's zombies. Um, if anybody is anybody watching this or anybody in this has seen any of my videos, there's the Zombie Apocalypse Survivor Guide. I'm a zombie guy. Sue me. Actually, don't. I, please, I need that money. But you know, I like zombies. And Resident Evil Four was one of the. Uh, Another one of the best games I've ever played, besides Halo and so on. But let's get back to Halo. We were kind of talking about Halo. Kind of. Just a little bit. <laughs> Speaking of zombies, the Flood, when I first encountered the Flood, oh my, I probably pooped my pants a little bit. <laughs> the Flood. Uh, that, that scared me more than... It did not scare me more than the first game that I ever remember playing, which is Torok Dinosaur Hunter, the original oh, one. Dear oh, Torok. On, on N64, <laughs> I was like five or six. I come home and plan it, and I'm like, yeah! Raptor jumps out. I turn off the thing and just start running and crying. I was that scared. Or like the old Jurassic Park. Uh, yes. I've never played the old Jurassic Park, but, you know, whatever. And then... Then I got SCP, and that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> SCP. Which, I want to take the time in this, and as I'm figuring out, I've got a video editing program to do the face cam, like that one guy, and I'm figuring out how to do that. PewDiePie! <laughs> and I'm going to do that, and you're going to see my reactions while I'm talking about it. I know how to do it, but I just got to figure out to get it small so you can see the gameplay at the same time. Carry on about Halo. I don't even think we have any more about Halo. Nope. No? No? Nope. Nope. We right, well, we're going to wrap this up, up because this is going on like 15-minute mark. 
My name is Ginger Beer from Closing Gaming, along with the Bearded One and... Sniper Slayer 95. When the zombies attack, find me. I'll save you. From Closing Gaming. You need to hide in your, like, bomb shelter. I don't have one. Just make a bomb shelter out of a cardboard box. You can reenact Indiana Jones and just hide in the lead fridge. <laughs> I'll do that. Do, 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 do. All right. Well, we're going to... Um, See you guys next episode. Stay tuned and subscribe because the next episode will be the Call of Duty Battlefield uh, fight to the death. It's good we, awesome. we talk with our friend Nick and a another person about. Well, Nick Nick is going to side with Battlefield. The shit will hit the fan. Yeah, and someone will side. I'm pretty sure uh, it's going to be Steve because I already talked to him and he's like, I like Call of Duty. Steve so Gannett. it's going to be basically a fight to the death of the two um, people, basically. Or, or I'm going to have, like, maybe four or five guys in at the same time, and they're going to, like, fight to shit. So it's going to be pretty sick. And, uh, yeah, so you're gonna guys, you guys are going to watch that and shit, and uh, we'll see you guys next episode. Peace out. See ya. Bye.